Yeah, here he is. Let's listen in. In 2001, uh, when I was a teacher out in Vancouver, I attended an end of year gala where the theme was Arabian Nights. And I uh, dressed up in an Aladdin costume and put makeup on. I shouldn't have done that. I should have known better, but I didn't. And I'm really sorry. En 2001, uh, j'enseignais à Vancouver et dans le uh, gala de fin d'année de l'école, uh, sous un thème uh, Mille et une nuits, uh, je me suis uh, uh, déguisé en costume d'Aladin, uh, y compris avec du maquillage. J'aurais pas dû le faire. Uh, J'aurais dû savoir que j'aurais pas dû le faire. Um, et je le regrette profondément. Vous n'aviez pas 16 ans, vous n'aviez pas 20 ans, vous aviez 29 ans. Comment vous pouvez expliquer ça? Ah. À 29 ans, vous étiez comme ça en fait, votre femme, votre femme. C'était une erreur. C'était quelque chose que j'aurais pas dû faire. Euh, j'aurais dû le savoir que j'aurais pas dû le faire et je le regrette profondément. Vous excusez, voulez-vous vous excuser? Euh, oui, je m'excuse. Euh, oui, je, je m'excuse profondément. Euh, je me suis déçu moi-même euh, et euh, je, suis, je suis vraiment désolé. I think uh, there are people who've made mistakes in uh, in this life, and you make decisions based on what they actually uh, do, what they did, uh, and on a case-by-case -case basis. I think uh, I uh, deeply regret that we that I did that. Uh, I should have known better, uh, but I didn't. And I didn't. Is this the How do you feel about this coming out right now in the campaign? Uh, obviously, I, I regret uh, that I did it. Uh, it's not about timing. It's about having done something that I shouldn't have done, and I'm really sorry I did. Have you done, you done, time time you've done something like this, Mr. Trudeau? Is that the only time in your life you've ever done something like that? Uh, when I was in high school, I uh, dressed up at a uh, talent show uh, and sang Dale. In, with 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 uh, with makeup on. Uh, au secondaire, uh, je me suis uh, déguisé avec du maquillage et j'ai chanté uh, Deo. Si quelqu'un parti conservateur avait fait ça, vous lui demanderiez aujourd'hui de démissionner. Je regarderai leur comportement et je regarderai euh, ce qu'ils ont fait. C'est sûr que euh, moi, je suis quelqu'un qui a euh, œuvré toute ma vie pour contrer l'intolérance et la discrimination. J'aurais dû savoir, euh, même à cet âge-là, que j'aurais pas dû faire ça. Euh, mais euh, je l'ai fait et je m'en excuse profondément. Mr. Trudeau, what do, you, Mr. Trudeau, what do, you, Mr. Trudeau, what do you say to racialized Canadians who are likely going to be offended by seeing these photos and hearing about what you also did in high school? Uh, I regret it deeply. I, I'm deeply sorry that I did that. I should have known better, uh, but I didn't, and I did that, and Why? I shouldn't have done that. Why is this coming out now? Uh, listen, it was something that I, I shouldn't have done many years ago, uh, and I recognize that I shouldn't have done it. You, you, you resign. resign. You, you resign. Many in the United States, when they've been discovered with these sorts of things, they are asked to resign. Have you given thought to resign? Uh, I take responsibility for my uh, decision to do that. I shouldn't have done it. I should have known better. Uh, it was something that uh, I didn't think was racist at the time, but now I recognize um, it was something racist to do, and I am deeply sorry. When you say you're not as advertised. advertising to Amarjeet Sohi, to Harjit Sajjan, if you have any words to say to some of your staff who may find this offensive. I have made uh, a number of calls uh, to uh, friends and colleagues tonight, and I will have many more colleagues, uh, ma many more calls to make. If conservatives say you're not as advertised, how can you look at Canadians and tell them that's not true? Uh, I have uh, worked all my life to try and uh, create opportunities for people to fight against racism and intolerance, uh, and I can just uh, stand here and say that I made a, a mistake uh, when I was younger, and I wish I hadn't. You I should have known better then, uh, but I didn't, and I did it, and I am deeply sorry for it. Are you if concerned that candidates had come out with one of these photos during the campaign, would an apology have been enough for you to allow them to stay? Uh, we would make that decision on a case-by-case -case basis and look at all the factors involved, uh, but I can't answer a hypothetical on Why that. Why should you be allowed to stay? Um, I'm going to be uh, asking Canadians to forgive me for what I did. I shouldn't have done that. I take responsibility for it. It was a dumb thing to do. I'm disappointed in myself. I'm pissed off at myself for having done it. I wish I hadn't done it, but I did it.
and I apologize for it. Your team know about this? for you to apologize for this. You've known that this happened a long time ago. I've been uh, uh, I've been forthright uh, when this has come forward that it is something that uh, that I regret deeply having done. Your research team has been hammering the conservatives on social media. We've been told privately there's an arsenal of things still to come for inappropriate social media behavior in the past. Does all of that? Go How could you credibly do something like that now in the middle of a campaign after what we've all seen tonight? Uh, I've taken responsibility for it for having made a real mistake in the past. I have I stand here. You know, before Canadians, as I will throughout this campaign, and talk about the work we have to do to uh, make a better country together. And I'm going to continue to stay focused on that and continue to work to fight intolerance and discrimination, uh, even though uh, obviously I made a mistake in the past. When did your team know about this? Comment, comment, comment vous pouviez ne pas savoir que c'était raciste? Vous aviez 30 ans. Okay. Uh, Il y a 20 ans, j'ai pris une décision que j'aurais pas dû prendre et je le regrette profondément. Comment vous avez pris cette décision? Euh, j'ai pris cette décision et j'en prends la responsabilité. What does this mean for your campaign? Uh, this means uh, uh, that I'm going to continue to work very hard to demonstrate to Canadians that uh, I'm always going to try and uh, take responsibility for my mistakes, but always work towards uh, a better future for all Canadians. That's, I have uh, a big day in Winnipeg tomorrow where I'm going to be meeting with Canadians. We're going to continue getting out there across the country and talking about uh, the kind of future we all need to roll up our sleeves and build. Does this change the way you know? feel about other candidates who may have made mistakes on social media or other things in the past? Maybe you should have given them a little more latitude. I think this is something that, like everything, that you have to evaluate on a case-by-case -case basis. This is something that I, I take seriously and I take responsibility for. I'm pissed off at myself, obviously. I'm disappointed in myself and uh, I'm apologizing to Canadians. What does taking responsibility mean? What is the consequence for you? For, for a, your, a lot of your candidates, this would be at least calls for resignation. This would be calls for important conversations with all those candidates and a real staking, taking stock in the path forward. And I'm having conversations with, with uh, my colleagues, with fellow candidates, and I'm going to be continuing to having conversations uh, with Canadians about this and about many other things that we're uh, hoping to work together on positively. You said you've had conversations with individuals probably over the last hour. In talking to racialized members of your cabinet and your caucus, what have they said to you? Are they disappointed? Um, I, well, I, I've said to them uh, what I'm saying here. How uh, what did I, they say I, to you? I've said to them what I've, I'm saying here. How I take responsibility for it. How I did something that I really shouldn't have done, and I'm disappointed and pissed off at myself. Uh, what they said, uh, quite frankly, I'm, I am touched by having as thoughtful a team around me as I have. When did your team know about this? Uh, I've been uh, talking to candidates to see. I've been talking to my fellow candidates tonight. Did you know about this before? That this was going to break before the, the event this afternoon? Uh, I found out. I found out today that it was going to break tonight. On prend les évaluations basées sur euh, au cas par cas et dans cette situation, dans cette situation, en, en même temps que j'ai, euh, je, je reconnais ce que j'ai fait et que je regrette ce que j'ai fait, euh, on a aussi agi en tant que gouvernement qui euh, a lutté contre l'intolérance, a lutté contre le racisme. Euh, on a reconnu euh, le travail qu'il faut faire avec les différentes communautés euh, pour contrer cette intolérance. Et, et je considère que euh, j'ai été euh, et je suis un allié à ces communautés-là. Et c'est pour ça que je suis tellement déçu de moi-même. Et je sais qu'il va y avoir de la déception dans cette communauté-là. Ça veut dire qu'on a encore du travail à faire. When did you tell your team that you had done this? When did you let them know? Uh, we've had uh, conversations about this over the past uh, over the past while, but the reality is uh, that we are going to continue to to focus on fighting discrimination you and racism tell, you as didn't a person. Tell them about this until, until this. I've talked about it recently. Yes. The was woman in the photograph. You've touched her in a very familiar way, um, depending on your relationship with her. What, who was she? And what she was, was that? a close friend. Was this photo racist, in your opinion? Yes. Yes, it was. I didn't consider it uh, a racist action at the time, but now we know better. And this was something that was unacceptable. And yes, racist. Within the last year, the governor of Virginia was found to have been pictures in blackface. Did you not think at that time, maybe I should say something to my friends and colleagues about something I did? We've seen other celebrities, comedians, also 
confront this sort of behavior? Did you think at that time, geez, I'm a politician and I've done that, maybe I should say something? This is uh, part of the reflections we all have to have on how uh, we judge the mistakes that we've made in the past, how we take responsibility for them, and mostly how we keep moving forward as a society, recognizing that we do need to do more uh, to fight uh, anti-black racism, systemic discrimination, uh, unconscious bias, all these things that uh, are present that I'm certainly not immune from. I think there's a, certainly a, a significant reflection that, that I've had. Uh, over the past while on this, and uh, if it leads other people to have reflections, then that's a good thing. But this is very much about me taking responsibility for an action I really shouldn't have Did taken. Do you understand why it's racist to wear blackface? Did you explain that? Why it is uh, racist? To wear blackface? I think it's it's well known that communities uh, and people who live with intersectionalities and face uh, discrimination, uh, the likes of which I have uh, never uh, personally had to experience, uh, is uh, is a significant thing that is very hurtful, and that's. That's why I am so deeply disappointed in myself. Why didn't you tell people this is, uh, this is a, a time where we're focused on moving forward as a, as a country and we're continuing to fight. Sooner? Why didn't we tell people sooner? I'm talking about it now. Ça fait dix ans que je suis en politique. Ça, ça fait dix ans que je travaille à tous les jours pour créer un meilleur avenir pour tout le monde. Ça continue d'être euh, mon, mon emphase et, et mon choix. Effectivement. I'm going to have a conversation with them tomorrow morning before they go to school about taking responsibility uh, for mistakes you make, about uh, living up every day to try and be a better person, and recognizing. Uh, that when you make mistakes, you have to take responsibility for it, you have to own up for it, and you have to promise to do better. That's what I expect of my kids. That's how I'm going to be raising them. And that's certainly the conversation that I'm going to be having with them tomorrow. Why would you launch the attacks you did on the Conservatives, knowing you had this in your background? This seems like a terrible mistake, knowing you've done something. I think uh, the fact is that I uh, look forward to having conversations about how we move forward as a society, how we move forward as individuals. Uh, if uh, everyone who is going to be uh, standing for office uh, needs to demonstrate that they've been perfect every step of their lives, um, there's going to be a, a shortage of people running for office. I think what is important is uh, that, yes, people get challenged on mistakes they've made in the past, that they recognize those mistakes, and they pledge to do better. That's what we expect of people. I certainly uh, uh, accept that people can make choices about who they choose to run with and who they choose to have as candidates. Mr. Trudeau, you've mentioned the incident in high school and we just found out about the photo tonight. Do you want to tell Canadians about any other instances where you were concerned that you were racist? That you had around I think uh, I think it, it's it's been plenty. Uh, the fact of the matter is that I've I've always uh, and you'll know this been uh, more enthusiastic uh, about costumes uh, than uh, is somehow uh, is sometimes appropriate. Uh, but uh, uh, these are the situations that uh, that uh, I regret deeply. Is it the only two, or there are more? These are the situations I regret deeply. Mr. Trudeau, when you go to sleep tonight, or when you're sleeping or going to bed, and you're reflecting on this day. What are you going to be thinking about? I'm going to be thinking about how much harder I'm going to have to continue to work to demonstrate to Canadians that I'm focused on building uh, a better world with less discrimination, less intolerance, uh, and uh, less racism. Uh, and that uh, this uh, choice that I made many years ago, which was the wrong choice and one that I regret deeply, uh, I need to, uh, I am owning up to, uh, and going to focus on moving forward. Merci tout le monde. Merci tout le monde. Bonsoir.